Hi everyone, welcome to my September favourites video. I didn't actually think I had that many bits and pieces to show you guys for my September favourites, but as it turns out, I've kind of been going around and having a think about all the bits that I've been really enjoying using throughout the month of September, and actually, I've come up with quite a few bits. A couple of beauty pieces, a couple of homeware pieces, and a couple of fashion pieces, and I'm going to share with you the things that I've been really enjoying using throughout September. So, let's get started. So the first couple of things that I've got to share with you guys are fashion favourites, and the first favourite that I wanted to show you is this. This is a little raincoat, and where I live in the UK at the moment, the weather is really changeable. One minute it'll be really sunny, and then the next minute it'll kind of absolutely pour with rain. So, a raincoat is actually essential, and a thin one is great for this time of year, because it's not really, really cold yet, but you do still need that something to cover up when it starts raining. And this one I was just really drawn to, because it's such a pretty, very soft, baby pink colour, which... It's kind of just a bit different, and although it's not a particularly autumnal colour, I just really liked it. I thought it was super pretty, very feminine, and I love the kind of grey stripe detailing that goes all down the front of the zipper at the front there, and also on the little roll-up sleeves, and it's also grey stripey in the hood. And then it has little black toggles at the front here, and the zip is black, and it's got little... Um, black poppers on the pockets there too which are also a great size so it's great if you want to just kind of throw your phone or your keys in your pocket these pockets are a really good size for that purpose and yeah I just really like this coat I love the detailing on this coat I really like kind of the mix of the soft pink with the grey and the stripes there's just something about it that's very feminine and really just makes kind of a boring raincoat which isn't a particularly glamorous item just a bit more interesting and I've been really enjoying wearing this and it's comfortable and looks nice makes an outfit look quite pretty so that's my first favourite, love it my next favourite is another piece from Topshop and what I'm going to do is actually insert a close up of me with these shoes on because it's easier to kind of show them on rather than holding them up and so I'll insert the close up now these are the Naomi Buckle sandals from Topshop and they're £56 and as you can see they have five very kind of chunky buckles running all the way down the front of your foot with the beautiful silver hardware detailing they're a real statement shoe and I have to say I've worn these so many times and I have had quite a few people asking me about these shoes because they are such a statement and they really really do make an outfit they kind of are a little bit edgy and they just add that little something to change the look of an outfit I really really like them I also love the height of the heel and the chunkiness of the heel they're not too high and the heel being chunky actually makes them very very easy to walk in the only thing I would say about these shoes is that because obviously they have a lot of buckles running down the front though you don't have to adjust all of the buckles every time you put them on don't put these on if you're in a major rush because it takes a very long time to get these shoes on but once they're on they look brilliant I really really like them they're actually very comfortable though they may not necessarily look it they are really comfortable I've actually just ordered them in grey as well because I love them so much they're just such a statement piece and I've worn them a lot since I bought them my favourite way to wear them is definitely with trousers I think you probably could wear them with a skirt or with a dress but for me I just prefer the look of them with trousers they're just slightly that bit too heavy for me to wear them with a dress or with a skirt you definitely could wear them that way but I'm a reasonably petite person and I just feel like it would look a bit too heavy if I were to wear them with a dress or skirt so I love to wear them with trousers they look amazing they are comfortable and I can't wait to get the grey ones as well because I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of them too love them my next favourite is this this is a water bottle by a brand called BKR and these are fantastic I got so fed up of kind of buying the plastic water bottles that you use and then just kind of recycle you get through so so many of them and it's not very environmentally friendly so I was really really pleased when I discovered these because obviously these are reusable the bottle is made of glass and this bit on the outside is I think made of like a silicon material 
and these are fantastic. Though they are reasonably expensive, I believe this was, I think, about £25. The amount of times you use it, um, obviously you can reuse it, so the cost per use is actually really quite good. If you think about how expensive kind of plastic bottles of water are, which you just use once and then get rid of, this kind of pays for itself because you use it so much. And it's such a great product. I really, really like this. It's also actually kind of reminded me to drink water and keep hydrated because I have to say, I do forget to drink water sometimes and it's so important to keep your body hydrated. And it's nice to have a really pretty water bottle to kind of have just there on the side to remind you to keep drinking water. It's also great to kind of take out with you. It's got this kind of little handle on the lid there so it's easy to carry. Great probably to take into the gym if that's what you want to do. Um, yeah, I really, really like these bottles. They come in loads of different colours. There are so many really pretty colours. I actually may purchase a couple more because I love them so much and they also come in, I think it's three different sizes. This is the medium size one, there's kind of a little dinky one and a bigger one. I really love this, love how environmentally friendly it is and it's pretty and it keeps me hydrated. So really pleased to have discovered these, love them. My next favourite is a candle and I don't actually think this scent is very kind of autumn appropriate, it's definitely for me more of a summer scent, but I love this so much that I actually probably will continue to burn it at this time of year because it's such a beautiful scent. And it is by Molten Brown and it's the Delicious Rhubarb and Rose Three Wick Candle. This for sure is my favourite Molten Brown scent. I have the hand wash of it as well and I keep it in my kind of guest bathroom and whenever anyone uses it they always comment on what a beautiful scent it is because it truly is kind of one of those good enough to eat kind of fragrances. It's beautiful. You can really smell the rhubarb, you can really smell the rose and it's such a perfect combination together. I just adore it. So I was super excited to see when they released a candle with this fragrance and I'm struggling to open the box but if I open it up you can see what the candle itself looks like. This is actually a brand new one now and it's just so beautiful. The colour of it as well, it's a beautiful soft dusty pink colour so it looks stunning kind of out just on your surface while it's burning. Smells amazing, a really kind of luxury beautiful product. I think this was £55, it said it on the box somewhere so it's not that cheap but Molten Brown does generally have kind of the slightly higher price point with their products and for me this candle is totally worth the money. It's so beautiful, looks gorgeous, smells gorgeous, absolutely love this. My next product is one that I am going to sneakily just slip into this video because I love it and I haven't used it yet because I've only just kind of recently purchased it but I am really excited about this because I've wanted one of these for a really long time and they've suddenly kind of come onto the high street, you see them in quite a few different places and I finally got one and it is one of these personalised cinema light boxes. I think these are so cute, you can personalise them, they come with lots of you know different letters and they come with a heart symbol, a star symbol and an and symbol so you can kind of just write different things on the light box. I think they're a really nice thing to just have out on your surface, they look really nice and this was super inexpensive, this one was just from Next and it was £12. I think there's a slightly bigger size as well but I went for the smaller one just because I thought it was kind of more compact to keep out on a surface, the other one is quite significantly longer. Um, so I am very, very excited to start using this light box. I just think it's such a cute little addition. Looks lovely on a surface. Really excited to start using this. So my final few favourites are beauty favourites. And the first thing that I wanted to include that I've been loving throughout the month of September are nude nails. Now, because I am quite fair skinned, sometimes I think that nude nails really don't suit me because it literally just looks like I have no nails because it just blends into my skin. But I have been really enjoying using very, very nude colours on my nails. There's just something about it that looks very, very polished 
and kind of very elegant and sophisticated obviously because it's such a neutral colour it goes with everything it looks nice with everything so I've been thoroughly enjoying new nails this month my next beauty favourite is quite a new discovery for me I haven't explored this brand very much I haven't used their products that I can think of in the past and I actually went to a spa quite recently and they use these products and I just completely fell in love with them and it is the CND spa range and these are the scrub, the lotion and the mask and I actually had a pedicure and these were the products that they used on my feet and honestly the mask in particular, I don't think I have ever felt something quite as smooth and soft and beautiful on my skin as this mask. It really was amazing. The scrub I also found was beautiful. It was kind of harsh enough, but not too harsh to make your skin kind of very uncomfortable and because sometimes I find scrubs are just that bit too gritty and then like I said the mask was just beautiful they put it on after they'd done the scrub and it was so moisturizing so silky smooth my skin felt it was so happy after I'd had this mask on love it and then the moisturizing lotion that was used afterwards was just lovely so nourishing so silky smooth my skin really really appreciated these products and it really did leave my skin feeling very very soft very nourished very pampered so I actually ended up buying the products myself because I loved them so much and I'm very much looking forward to using these at home because I really was very very impressed with them and that is it those are all the bits and pieces that I've been thoroughly enjoying using throughout the month of September I really hope that you guys enjoy watching the video please give me a very happy thumbs up if you did enjoy it and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already it genuinely means so much to me I'm so grateful for your support and thank you so much for watching my videos it makes me very very happy thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you again very soon in my next video take care guys bye